Okay, so two sevenths at two divided by seven looks like this. Seven goes into two how many times? Zero. Zero. Put your answer up there. Add a zero and a decimal. Can't forget about that decimal. Seven into twenty? Two. Twice, because three would be twenty-one and that's too many. Twenty minus fourteen? Add a zero. Bring it down. Seven into sixty. Eight times. Oh, what's what's eight times seven? Good. Subtract, you get four. Add a zero. Seven into forty. Five times what's seven times five? Thirty-five. Subtract, you get five. Now what? Add another zero. And seven times what gives me close to fifty? That's seven. Thank you. Forty-nine subtract, you get one. Add another zero, bring it down. Seven into ten, one time. Phew. Ten minus seven, subtract. Let's see if I run out of room. It's three. Add another zero, bring it down. Seven into thirty, four times. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Subtract <coughs> two. Add a zero, bring it down. Oh, it looks as though I'm going to start repeating. Seven times two is 14. That's six. And so this that's happening down here, 20 minus 14, happened right up here at 20 minus 14. So I know that the pattern is going to continue. So let's find it's 285714. The next number we would have, because it's 60, 7 into 60 would be 8, and then it would be 5 and 714. So this entire thing repeats. For the sake of our assignment today, we're going to take 0.285714, change that into a percentage by moving my decimal twice to the right. That's 28.5714. And let's round. Rounding to the hundreds, the seven is my hundreds place. I look to its right neighbor. Four or less, let it rest. Five or more, add one more. What am I going to do? Five or less. Yeah, four or less. So the seven stays the same. And you add a percent sign.